Hello everyone and welcome back to Mystic Colony here with our young Creek as she continues her adventures in Creek's Legends trying to seek out the secret history and the long lost legends of the swimming cats of her ancestry. After being swept away from the waters of her native home, we have found ourselves in the swampy wetlands of Mystic Clan and we are trying to, or excuse me, Mystic Colony, cough cough, <laughs> I'm gonna get that mixed up all the time but we're trying to make ourselves a little bit more at home and creek is just starting to get some of the uh some of the ground or the water i should say under her paws and making a tiny bit of headway when it comes to making sure she can feed herself and beginning to make friends here in the colony including the lovely savannah who has been so sweet to us she is the cat who sells all of these really cool exotic little extras that i would love to get our hands on and i feel like creek just just really feels like Savannah might know some of the hidden history and the long lost treasures of the swimming cats of like yesteryear. So let's go ahead and talk to Savannah. Hey there, how are things going? If you're looking for very unique items, I'm your one-stop shop. And she's just so friendly. Oh my goodness. And that's definitely something Poor Creek needs after how exhausting her, her ordeal here has been. So let's go ahead and give her a marigold as a sign of friendship. There you go. I seriously love this. You're the best, Creek. Yay! All right. So Savannah's pretty happy. I wonder if she'll say anything new to us yet. Not quite yet. That's just fine. And let's go ahead and show off our delicious fat toad to the colony. We're going to go ahead and eat all of it so that we can uh, we can definitely be nice and full. And we've actually learned that the colony leader, Elisa, happens to absolutely adore fish. So she really likes fish. I think she likes frogs a little bit. Let's come and talk to her. Hello, Creek. How are you? If you're here to file a formal complaint, I ask you to please reconsider. Our resources are stretched thin. Hmm. I have no idea what that's going to mean for Elisa, but we do know she likes fish, so I think Creek will actually spend the day investigating all of the creeks. Eh? Eh? You get it? The creeks and the various waterways of this territory, and that would probably be a really good idea for her to do anyway, so that she can start kind of understanding the Mystic Cat territory and maybe learning some tricks in swimming in their waters. So we might come over to like the swamp borders and just go through the entire swamps. Ooh, Weeping Root. What a cool name for a swamp area. And we might avoid some of the battles for now because I think Creek feels a little overwhelmed like she died last time nearly if it wasn't for Krampus here from the battles. So we'll mostly focus on just exploring each of the mystic areas because I don't think we've really looked to the swamps over here to the east just yet. Also, let's come over and say hello to Mossy, our beloved moss leaf. Hmm? Oh, hello. The clouds are interesting shapes today, aren't they? Oh, um, I don't mind if you want to stay around here. Just please watch for any of the growing plants and don't step with them. When the seedlings are little, they're so fragile. Oh, Mossy, of course you would be obsessed with the plants because I made you that way, to be completely honest. All right, well, let's try giving her a valerian. Oh, is this for me? Thank you. There we go. And then Crampy, how you doing over here, buddy? Just, I'm, I gotta admit, the mask is kind of cool. I know a lot of you guys are totally in love with this mask. No, you cannot put leeches on our tail. The, it'd be kind of funny if while you swam, sometimes you could end up with the leech just randomly. That would be kind of interesting. Being an old cat is not fun. Everything hurts, and I don't understand kittens these days. i always fidgeting around and spinning. <laughs> What even is that nonsense? Oh my gosh, there's so many references everywhere. Well, let's go ahead and ask the or offer this buddy. Uh, let's actually offer him a crow, just in case. I'm kind of curious what would happen if we give him a crow. All right, let's go ahead and see. Thanks. This is just what I wanted. I will use it, maybe, or sell it. Thanks, I guess. Ah, fine. All right. So Crampy wasn't really that impressed with our crow, but it was a worthwhile effort to offer it to him. Oh, dang it. And I was actually going to sell all the rest of our stuff to Savannah, but let's go collect more stuff. We want to build our relationship. I think Savannah is really the one cat that Creek has really clicked with. So we might try building our relationship with Savannah by offering her not only some awesome little gifts, but showing that we will use her shop by giving her a lot of the items we collect and basically selling to her quite a few things. So I think that would be a good idea. Oh, there's a little mouse. There's a little mouse in these swamplands. 
Did I get it? Oh, I got it. Oh, gosh. Wow, there's a whole cliffside over here. We found some licorice root. Can I go further down? Oh, I can. There's a little corner to the swamp down here. Interesting. Oh, there's a toad. Get him, Creek. Don't let him outrun you. He's a fat, lazy toad. You can do this. Come on, Creek. You can do this. There, we got him. Oh, thank goodness. It's kind of hilarious, but I feel like that's her specialty now. Outrunning fat, lazy toads. All right, let's see if we can get this little fish and we can offer it to Alisa later. Alicia? I'm going to have to get her name down eventually. All right, and all right, we have a little mouse. Let's go ahead and snack on the mouse. I think that Creek does indeed prefer eating the, um, eating the fish and the frogs as well, though. All right, did she get it? She got it, all right, good job. She's a really good fisher, actually. I'm pretty surprised by how, oh, there's another frog. He, you got him, Creek, good job. <laughs> That's rapidly becoming like her specialty. All right, come here, fish. Come here, fish. All right, wait for him. Yeah. All right, no, he may have led you astray, Creek. Don't do it. All right, the fish tried to kill us again. Let's improve her swimming again. There we go. So spending her days roaming around the waters of the wetlands and the swamps, collecting up fish and frogs. Oh, there's another cute little fish. Let's get it. I wonder how many fish you can collect. Being very patient and waiting for the little guy to swim back our way. To swim back our way, I say. Any second now. And, and, come on little one. Would you stop swimming away from us? Ha ha! All right, we got him! A nice fat salmon. I think that that's going to go down well for Creek, and maybe we can offer it to Alyssa. And actually, Alyssa did mention that there is a festival on the 10th that should be kind of interesting to go to. And I think that that would definitely be... Oh, there's another big old frog. Let's get him. Yes! All right, got him. And another fish. Whoops, we definitely went a little bit too early for that fish. Second chance. Did I get him? No, fooey. But we actually are swimming a lot better. Look at that. All right, so Creek is getting her water paws slowly but surely. And we're starting to gather up more stuff, which is good. Because like I said, there is a festival on the 10th and we'll probably want to have a lot of muse for it. And I want to start giving more of the cats gifts because I don't think she'd be thinking about romance just yet. But you know, it's, it's always good just to start building relationships. So if anything, ah, dang it. Get him, get him Creek, you've got him. Don't let that fat old toad outrun you. Don't let this one outrun you either. Ah, oh, come on, Creek. No. Okay, he got away. <laughs> but it's always a good idea just to start building our relationships with the other cats just because we can and it'd, it'd be a smart thing. All right, let's go ahead and eat the little mouse just because we're a little bit peckish. Oh, and there's a nice fat frog. Can I get him? Oh, we got him! Good job, Creek! And we found some catnip. Nice! But yeah, it's always just a good idea to build your relationships early on and we'll just see where things go. So far, no sign of hidden treasures. Um, but I think we need to send Creek down to the beach. Maybe Savannah might have some legends that tells us that if we really want to get some of the cool treasures that Savannah happens to have, like all these seashells, we definitely need to go down to the beach. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk. And let's go ahead and we'll visit the shop and let's sell some items. And we will go ahead and sell the crow, uh, maybe some of the valerian, the catnip we will definitely sell because it is worth a lot. Uh, we can sell some of the toads. I think she would just go ahead and sell all of the licorice, some of the lavender. We're not really into expanding the clans, or excuse me, cough, cough, the colonies territory just yet. Um, we'll keep, we'll sell some of the frogs, we'll keep some of the toads, because I think she likes to eat the toads, and we want to have a little bit of security there. And we'll go ahead and sell all of the fish, but we will keep the salmon. Oh my goodness, that was so much easier than I remember getting Muse before, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, can we, like, afford the inventory expansion already? Because that would be kind of amazing. There's a turtle shell, the snake lily, the inventory expansion is another, uh, yeah, it's another bit of muse, so we have to wait just a bit longer. Alyssa? There we go. No, we don't want a formal complaint, I just want to give you a salmon, so that hopefully we can win your regard. How did you know I love these? Thank you, Creek. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, so things seem to be pretty good with her. 
Uh, we did a little bit of exploring. We definitely gained a lot more experience than I expected. Oh, and Slip! Let's go say hello to Slip. Greetings, kitten. Where are you off to? I don't stay up too late anymore, but when I was younger, I used to go out and catch fireflies that visit on summer nights. Elisa tells me that they're the spirits that guide us. I don't know if I agree, but I do like catching them. Oh, I wonder if he actually likes them. Okay, we'd be a little worried about- Oh no, now we have a dead firefly! <laughs> Quick, hide the evidence! I just wanted to be able to give it to him as a gift. And it's really funny because if you come and talk to his little tree stump, or his den, excuse me, it's very dark inside. Hard to see much past the entrance. So we'll offer him one of the little fireflies and see what happens. But let's see. And I think that... Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Niall is still awake. So let's talk to him. Which of the four seasons do you enjoy the most? I prefer spring over any other season. Interesting. I wonder why he does. Can we offer him a toad? I don't know if Creek likes them enough and she's been so hungry to offer him a toad just yet. I want to make sure that we have a lot of toads stored up. All right, so let's come on in. We're going to grab our toads because I know that Creek definitely would want to have a little bit of a sense of security. Let's see. There's the other toad. Put it down there. We'll go ahead and go to sleep for the night. And there we go. It's getting a little bit closer to the day the festival is supposed to happen. So I am a little curious about how that's going to go down. And we have our pile of toads safely, safely stacked up. In fact, we even have a frog too. And you can eat beyond the 100%. So I'm actually going to try that out. There we go. And you do get a movement boost when you are really full too. And I feel like Creek would not hesitate. Oh, it's a foggy day. Wow. But I feel like she would not hesitate to make herself super duper full off of food because she's been starving so much lately. Uh, let's go do some exploring maybe up to the north this time, but let's give this firefly, let's go ahead and offer it to slip as a gift. Let's see. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thanks for the gift, kitten. Okay, oops, I make sure to clean your fur on a regular basis. He's a little bit, uh, a little bit paternal for sure. All right, nice little wetlands bog, and there we go. Okay, Creek, what are we going to do with you today? Um... Maybe expand. I think she would try to go look for fish and let's try to find some more flowers to offer Savannah so that we can increase our relationship with her. So let's work on fish and flowers and then uh, collect up anything else we might happen to run across so that hopefully we can make some good friends and lots of muse. In preparation, haha frog, you didn't see me coming on this foggy day, did you? in preparation for that festival that's going to happen tomorrow because that's going to be very interesting. The festival system is definitely something new that has been added in since the alpha. But we actually were making our own mock festivals. If you remember when we had Mossy, I made up a festival of the Winter Star just because it gave us something fun to do. And so it'll be really cool to see festivals as an actual implemented feature. Also, look at the sunken stones area. I feel like Creek would look around and she'd just be amazed like oh my gosh this is of course a place of deep mystery this is the perfect place to be if she wants to unravel some of the secrets that her clan lost and and or no but there's a swimming there was a swimming crow for reasons I guess all right let's get yes all right there's a bass there we go ah there's another fish there's a lot of nice fish that we can actually hunt right over here it's an easy life for a good kitty cat. Okay, come on. All right, there. Oop, and there's some more smelling things. So we'll gather up all the golden seal. Maybe the pretty butterflies because they seem like something kind of exotic that we might be able to offer. Oh, got away. That we might be able to offer Savannah. But let's focus on becoming friends with Savannah and winning the regard of Alyssa first off. And then we can, we can focus on trying to romance some of the cats. All right, let's see what's down here. Oh, frog! Get him! You've got him, Creek! You've got him! Frogs and toads are your specialty! Okay, toads are slower than frog. Or definitely slower than frogs. Okay, that, that one, that one, he was too slippery. It's not your fault, Creek. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Look at all of this. I got a little overexcited seeing the toad. Oh, look at him croak! No! Come back! Come back! Can I get him? Can I get him? Oh, come back! Come back! Come back! Ah! He's gonna get away! No, you can do it, Creek! <laughs> Creek! Get him! Get him, Creek! Oh my gosh! <laughs> there we go! 
<laughs> That's totally her. I feel like she sees a toad and she just loses it, has to chase him down, run around in circles, whatever it takes to be able to catch him. All right, what's going on up here? Oh, wow. Look at this open prairie. There's so many flowers. I could see Mossy spending lots of time here for sure. All right, there we go. We'll gather up some of these raspberries. There's a whole bunch of mice, but I think that mice take a different skill to hunt than Creek has since she's so focused on frogs and fish. All right, there we go. All right, very nice, but I don't think we're gonna find a lot to swim with over here. Um, oh, is there a battle going on? What's happening down here? Hello? Ah! There's a stranger cat! Stranger, no! Get away from us, General! He's just beating us up! What is Forest Cat Colony doing all the way out here? Oh, we got him! Alright, good job, Creek. Maybe we gained a little bit more regard. And maybe he dropped this butterfly. If I can get this butterfly, there we go. We'll say that he dropped this butterfly. Trying to collect up our rare butterflies. But, uh, yeah, I guess... Did we gain any more regard for Mystic? Not sure. Oh, and you can change your reputation with the various uh, colonies. That's very interesting. I wonder what that does. I wonder, like, can you only have... I bet you could only have a high reputation with, like, one colony at a time, maybe? I don't know. That would be kind of interesting. I imagine our reputation with... Uh, <laughs> with Forest Colony would probably go down, actually. Let's see. Anything else that we could collect really quickly? Um... Let's see, we're at the swamp border, so we'll do another quick sweep and then we'll head back and we will offer our gifts of the day. And then next time we will actually have, oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. Next time we will actually have the summer festival to enjoy. And I think Creek has started to really get very familiar with the swampy lands and she's pretty comfortable in them. But we're about ready to start adventuring a little bit further away from her new home and exploring along the riverside if you ask me oh my gosh we're gonna be we're gonna be like cat bushed ambushed cat bushed are you guys oh my gosh run for it <laughs> the general went oh my gosh look it's a whole war and this frog doesn't know what he's gonna do <laughs> creek can you get the frog ah <laughs> oh my gosh well we're participating in our first inter colony battle and we mostly just collected the muse, but yay! Woohoo! Feisty, what do you think about all that? I hear there's lots of prey here. I come to hunt here nearly every day since last spring. Well, it's wonderful. There's one very confused frog who just doesn't know what he's going to do about all this. I'm gonna eat him. That's what we're gonna do. Come back here, frog. No, get back over here. Ha! We got him! Our victory frog! Oh, there's another battle going down! Max, there's another battle going down! I hope you know what you're doing out here. Oh, I guess the battle's already over. Okay, well that was interesting. There was a lot of fighting going down over here today. Um, I wish there was a way to like pull up the map really quickly. There might be and I just don't know. Uh, let's see, but I think we gained a little bit of mystic credit for the day here, which would be kind of nice. We're not really into expanding our territory or expanding like our reputation for the various colonies just yet, but we'll look into that in the future. However, I think by participating just peripherally, even in the fight, we would have learned a little bit more about fighting. So let's go ahead and upgrade Creek there. And then let's head home. And actually one of the skills that I do want to be able to unlock, and I think I think, do you get it from having active skills? Yeah, what I really want to be able to unlock is the return home ability. I feel like that would be a really cool one to snag. Whoop, and we just missed out on another fight. It seems like right before the big day of, um, right before the big day of the festival, all of the colonies are kind of like at each other's throats. I didn't think that's how it would be. All right, do we have anything we could offer slip? Not sure. We could snag him a firefly, but I feel like after that last firefly, we would be way too nervous because that is not what Elisa really wants. Hello, Creek. How are you? Do you think you're going to attend the summer festival? It's tomorrow at the sacred temple if you'd like to attend. And we totally will do that because that's something completely new to us. And then let's go ahead and give her a bass. Oh my, how did you know I like this? I love this. Thank you, Creek. 
All right, good. Yeah, we will attend the summer festival. We will not kill the ancestors. I think Creek did it last night and she's a little worried that Slip's gonna get her in trouble, so we won't do it again. You're always welcome by my shop. Stop by whenever you want. Oh, Savannah, you're such a sweetheart. Here, have a smelly. Uh, actually, she really likes Golden Seal too. I seriously love this. You're the best, Creek. Yay, Savannah, I'm so glad you think so. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff just to prepare for that festival tomorrow. I wanna keep some of the golden seal to be able to give her as gifts. Uh, and maybe, let's see, we'll keep some of that and we'll sell the frog and we'll sell the mice because I don't think Creek really cares about the mice and the butterfly. And we'll go ahead and sell the toad, there we go. Just to make sure we have lots of Mews available for tomorrow. But all right, there we go. And that should do it. All right, guys, I think we'll go ahead and talk to Mossy. Mm? Why am I watching the sky? Well, the clouds change shape so often, it's nice to watch them and guess what their new shapes are. Sometimes they almost seem to tell stories. It's a nice way to pass the time out here alone. All right, so we've got her. Let's offer her a marigold and see what happens. Oh, is this for me? Thank you. There we go, so she's happy about that. And it seems like our spooky, sneaky, Strange vapory uh, doctor is asleep for the night. And what's in the Lisa's den? Decorated with exquisite baubles and colorful shells from far away. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. I think that we would just like curl up and talk with Savannah for a little while. She might tell us about all the cool stuff that can happen at the summer festival. And hopefully the fog will part and we will enjoy the last day of summer at the festival tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye. <laughs>